this time I've got a cryptography demo that will just blow your mind. So what is it? How does it work? Well, stick around. You're going to learn something here. Greetings fellow YouTubers, Andy Malone, Microsoft MVP. Welcome back to my channel. This week I'm in Oslo teaching yet another cybersecurity class. And today I give my class uh, a demo of a product called VeraCrypt. Now VeraCrypt replaced a product called TrueCrypt a few years back and apparently it would it was broken. So TrueCrypt was broken and strangely enough if you ever tried installing TrueCrypt on a Windows 10 machine, you got that inevitable message, oh, you don't want to use that, you want to use BitLocker. Well, mm, you know, if you saw my last video on BitLocker, you might think, okay, that looks a little bit suspicious. Personally, um, I think the rumors of TrueCrypt being broken are wrong. I think it was an excellent piece of software. Now, what the folks at VeraCrypt have done is they've taken the software and I believe that they've made it a, fun, a million times better because it does some truly amazing things. And in this demo, I'm going to take you through what I think is a, an absolutely mind-blowing uh, piece of technology. And now one of the benefits of using third-party cryptography is if you're going to place content in the cloud, then the cloud provider will typically say, you don't need to do that, of course, because we'll encrypt your stuff for you. And that may be fine, um, but the problem is, the chances are the cloud vendor has probably got the keys to your cryptographic file. So if anything happened, they potentially could access it. So by using third-party cryptography software, you can encrypt your content and you can then upload it to the cloud. So the chances of the provider breaking both uh, would be extremely rare. Now the demo that you're going to see um, is going to feature some very, very cool features uh, of cryptography. And as far as I know, this is one of the only products that can do this. So not only am I going to talk about how to encrypt a volume, I'm going to talk about how to encrypt a drive or a folder, but you can also create hidden volumes within it. Now you might think, okay, well, yes, Andy, I've seen that demo uh, on YouTube where somebody's using a piece of forensic software to break VeraCrypt or TrueCrypt, and that may be the case. But what I'm saying is, a very clever way of creating an onion. So layers upon layers upon layers of cryptography, that's pretty much impossible to break. But how does it work and what does it do? Let's take a look at the demo and I'll let you draw your own conclusions. So here we are in VeraCrypt and if you've had experience with TrueCrypt in the past, you'll notice that it's very similar. Um, however, there are a few subtle changes. Now, first thing that you want to do is go ahead and create a volume. And you pretty much have two choices. Do you want to create a volume within a partition or a, on a drive? So, for example, that could be a disk volume and so on. You want to encrypt, uh, for example, the entire disk. And this is quite useful for encrypting things like a D drive or a, um, a secondary hard disk or even a USB flash drive or something like that. And yeah, that's quite interesting, but the really clever, unique thing that VeraCrypt can do is it can create an encrypted file container. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do that. Now, in here it says, okay, do you want to go ahead and create a standard VeraCrypt volume. Now, a standard volume, pretty much most forensic tools would be able to capture that and essentially break it. But one of the unique features of this product is that you can actually create what we call a hidden container within a volume. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm going to choose a file location. So let's just click in here. I'm going to stick this, let's say, on my desktop. And I'm going to call this file. I'm a huge, for example, Game of Thrones fan. So I'm going to call this Game of Thrones. 
And let's say that there was a season nine. I know there's not, but let's say there was. That would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? So I'm going to do season zero nine, and I'm going to do episode zero one. Okay, and I'm going to give this file an MP4 extension. So an MP4, of course, is a video file format. So right away, it doesn't look like a volume. It's just looking like a regular video file, like a regular movie. And I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to save that on here. And you can see here there's an option that says never save any history on the disk here. So I'm going to click on next and this is pretty much where you can you notice it's creating the outer volume here. And look at this. This is where it differs from TrueCrypt. So TrueCrypt you it just basically had US based or western Europe based encryption technologies like AES, Serpent, Two Fish and so on. But in this version we actually have both Russian and we have Korean um, and Japanese uh, encryption algorithms. And you can see that in the latest version, it's using two or more algorithms to make it even stronger. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to choose this Russian option here. And uh, again, it's asking me, do you want to use a hash algorithm? So a hash creates a one way cryptographic hash that would let you know if anybody's been trying to manipulate a file or change it. So SHA-512 or SHA-3 is the latest version of that. And I'm going to click on next. Now, of course, how big is my video file going to be? So I, for the purpose of this demo, I'm going to make it 500 megabytes. I could make it um, gigabytes if I want to, um, but uh, megabytes is fine just for this demo. I'm going to go ahead and click next and now it asks me for an outer password. So for the purpose of this demo, I'm going to just use a very simple password. Um, you would never use this in real life, by the way. I'm just going to create password one. Now the clever, super clever thing is you can use a password manager and you can also use what we call a key file. So in addition to the password, um, you must have, let's say, queen, we will rock you mp3 on the same disk. OK, so again, you can then view a particular file. OK, so now I'm going to go ahead and click on next. And it's just saying yeah, that password sucks. And I know I'm, this is just purely a demo. Now, what it's going to do now is it's going to ran create a random private key. And the best thing to do this random is just randomly move your mouse around in any direction. And essentially, it will randomize and create that private key. And you can see, you can actually show the key here. You can see it moving around. Um, and again, you wouldn't show this. This is just purely for demo purposes. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to format that volume. And you can see that I've now formatted that outer volume there and it just takes a moment or two so now what i can do is i can now open or mount this volume and in here i'm going to put some files so first of all i'm going to create a folder in here and i'm going to call this my good stuff okay so if anybody comes along this is my good stuff all right now i'm going to close that down and I'm now going to click on next. And what we're now going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create the hidden volume in here. So I'm going to click on next. And this time I'm going to choose a completely different algorithm for the inner volume. OK, so I'm going to make it as complicated as I possibly can. All right. Again, I'm going to choose a different uh, algorithm. And I'm going to go ahead and click on next. And this time, uh, obviously, I know that the outer volume is 500 megabytes. But what I'll do here is I'll actually create an inner volume of 450 megabytes. So you see what I mean? You're creating a layer upon layer upon layer. So technically, what you could do is you could create a hidden volume I could then create, in the, on the hidden volume, I could create a virtual machine, 
Within the virtual machine, it would have a hard disk, and on the hard disk, I would create a hidden volume within a hidden volume within a hidden volume and within a hidden volume, and on it would go. All right? So essentially, what you're doing using different algorithms, different techniques, essentially, you're creating an onion. Okay? Um, so, yes, I'm going to go ahead, but this time I'm going to put in a different password. So, I'm going to say password2. And you can see that's a completely different password. Again, I could use a completely different key file in here as well if I want to. So, there we go. Again, I can also choose a different um, format, a different file format for that volume as well. Again, for the purpose of this jet demo, I'll just keep it simple. So again, randomize my mouse, blah, 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 and I'm gonna click on format, and off it goes, and it now creates that um, master key for me. All right, and there we go. So what I've done is I've created an outer volume and an inner, inner volume, so now what I can do is I can click on exit and sure enough, if you can see on my desktop here, I've now got a file called Game of Thrones Season 9 Episode 1. You think, oh, that's so cool. I want to open that. And of course, um, what we do is we double click that and, mm, oh, so if anybody's looking for that file, you go, oh, I'm sorry, um, uh, it, must have, it mustn't have downloaded correctly or I mustn't have got a hold of the right copy or something like that. But little do they know that if I drag this here and I'm going to mount this volume now, but this time I'm going to put in my inner volume password, which is password2. All right. Now this can take a couple of minutes because there's a little bit more mathematics, a little bit more uh, calculation involved here. Um, so, again, as it says, it can seem unresponsive, but it's not. It's absolutely fine. Okay, so that you can see the volume has now mounted. So you can see it's gone here. And what I'll do is let's just double click on that. And you can see that there is nothing in this volume. So now I can put in here another new folder and I can call this my really secret stuff okay so in here is my really secret stuff and I can now dismount that now obviously I'm now the scenario is hey I'm going through the airport a law enforcement officer pulls me over and says I'd like to have a look at your machine and they somehow determine that this Game of Thrones file is actually a an encrypted volume um, so you go, look, officer, hey, you know, I'm a law-abiding citizen. I've got nothing to hide. I'm going to mount this volume. And, of course, what I do now do, of course, is I now put in my outer volume password, not the inner volume. And I say, click OK. And sure enough, the volume mounts. Open up. You can see, officer, I'm a very good guy. I would never do anything bad. And this is one of the most fantastic pieces of software. Now, of course, what we can now do is you can now, um, sorry, I'll just cancel that. What you can now do is that this hidden volume, you can now store that uh, in your cloud provider. So you now know the chances of your cloud provider breaking that file um, would be ex highly, highly unlikely, okay? And especially if you're really, really smart, you do a volume within a volume within a volume. And if you want to maintain your privacy, this is truly a fantastic product. So there you have it, VeraCrypt, absolutely brilliant piece of software. I hope you enjoyed this demo. And if you did, as always, 
please give me your feedback by dropping some comments, questions uh, down below. And if you've not subscribed to the channel, go ahead, click on that subscribe button, ring the bell, and you won't miss out on the good stuff in the future. Now, I do apologize for the audio and the video quality. I'm on site and I'm not in my uh, studio. Um, busy, busy, you know. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for stopping by and you stay safe and I'll see you next time. Thanks very much for tuning in. Take care. Thanks for dropping by. Hope you enjoyed the video. Go ahead and click on the subscribe button and ring that bell and you won't miss a thing. See you next time.